it's easy to understand the theory until you get here and you're in front of a five-year-old and now you have to teach them how to read. It's, it's very nerve wracking at first, but then once you start to get to know the student, like you're talking to a friend. Reading is such a big part of everything that you teach. If your student can't read the material, then they're not going to be able to understand like your science class, your math um, problems. The reading issues truly have cascading effects on all subject areas. So if, you're, if you're a striving reader, you, you really do tend to experience some academic difficulties in all subject areas. So we um, work at Southwest Primary. We have a great partnership with Hickory Public Schools. None of this would be possible without that partnership. We have class here in this, this space and students learn about the theory. They learn about the science of reading. We talk about strategies um, that are evidence-based, of course, and we talk about the big ideas or the major pillars of reading instruction. And then students are able to apply that um, in this lab setting. And um, typically we tutor, or students tutor for about 30 minutes each session. And I provide coaching during those sessions. And I also um, approve tutoring plans prior to the implementation of those plans. Uh, the English language spoken to written doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes. So going through and thinking, well, I have to explain that R controls the E vowel in this certain context in these times, but it doesn't these times. You gotta explain that to a six-year-old. And it if you don't have this kind of training, I, I don't really know how you would go about doing that. It's also about while the lesson is is being implemented, it's receiving that real-time coaching with me saying, Do you mind if I if I work with the student or, or can I try a different um, example set? So it's neat to see those colors change. So, you know, we have the beginning of the year data and the students that we serve are either in the yellow or the red. And by the end of the year, we have um, at least close to approximately 90% who are at benchmark or even in the blue. So um, this program does a really good job of preparing us how um, and how to like tie everything in. Even with our children's literature class, like everything from read alouds to the actual material that we are teaching, we know how to use the information that we're gathering from the assessments and apply that. So I feel more than enough prepared to, I mean, I can take on the world, I feel like. So. Capital A, and it says, And I mean, we just constantly hear these success stories and I just keep thinking about all of the elementary students who are benefiting um, by being in the classrooms of, of, our, of our students and our former students.